It's 823. Teachers are holding classes remotely throughout the whole country. We're going to drill down to Indiana where students are learning from home. One lecturer at IU Kelly School of Business is having a little fun entertaining an audience at night when he's not teaching. And it's all thanks to his 15,000 count comic book collection. We're talking about Trent Deckert. He is joining us live now from his place in Bloomington. Trent, uh, thanks for being with us this morning. This is an interesting idea here. It's like it, it harkens back to the days where you would maybe read the kids the funny papers, but you've taken that a, neps, a next step farther here. Tell me what you're doing. So I go on Facebook Live and I read uh, a comic book to folks. I've been averaging about every two nights or so at 7.30 p.m. And I read to them a little bit of the comic book and I try to bring them something that is different than just sitting around waiting for news. <laughs> Who is checking in to, to kind of um, listen to you? And is it interactive or is it kind of uh, story time with Trent? I try to make it interactive. Uh -huh. I respond to comments, but it's amazing. I'm having as many adults as I am kids. And so my audience is, it has been a little older than I thought it would be. And it's been a pleasant surprise. <laughs> well, I know it's a huge, huge community here. And we just showed a couple of pictures of the, uh, the comic books um, that are in your collection here. I was wondering, are, are you more of a, a, an Archie and uh, Jughead kind of comics? Or are you, you know, the Spider-Man and Batman and Superman that I was when I was a kid? Tell me about uh, what's in your collection. I'm more like you uh, when you were a kid. I love superheroes, but I have never met a comic book that I didn't like. <laughs> I have all genres here, and mm -hmm. it's a, a diverse collection. I try to make it more diverse each week as I get more and more old comics and bring them in. Wow. So have you ever done this before, or is this a brand new thing? And do you do voices? I mean, are you bringing a little bit of performance to this? I have a lot of fun with it. I do voices, and I, I've done a little acting in community theater, mm. but I never, ne never anything like this. And I'm having so much fun with it. Sometimes I think this is as much for me as it is for everyone else. It's certainly become that way. Um, do you have a comic book there to show us kind of what you're, what you're talking? Yeah, hold on one moment oh here. Boy. I'll show you. Oh, now, now, now he did it. Now, oh, now he's, he's off headsets, everybody. Okay, what? Uh, which one did you choose? Are those all your comic books behind you? And they're wow. Yes, this is an Avengers fairy tale comic. This might come up at some point in the future. It's designed for both kids and uh, for adults with uh, its storyline. That's got like and a plastic around it. You can't crack that open and read it to us, can you? Mm. I I could if you want me to, but <laughs> but yeah, I, um, every comic's protected. Um, tell me how many uh, people tune in and where can they find you? They can find me on my live Facebook feed, uh, Trent Deckard. Look me up, send me a friend request, and these are public, so they'll be there. Okay. Uh, Trent Deckard on Facebook. And we get typically anywhere from 25 to 50 viewers uh, 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 listen, and then it's recorded so you can see it later if the time's not well, convenient. I'm sure it's going to grow now. Hey, Trent, thanks a lot. Nice to talk to you. Uh, appreciate kind of the lighthearted and, and the smile that you're giving us this morning. Keep it up. Thank you, sir. All right. Have a good one, buddy. It